So this is different, right? Like people look at this and go, wow, what's going on there? And this was all my attempt to get a board that would surf like a surfboard, not like a sub. And so what I figured out was that if I put a deep single through the whole bottom, it tracked better and it was way more stable. I was working with guys like Sean Pointer and Zane Schweitzer and dozens of others that could balance on little boards like when their ankles were wet. And they were ripping on those things. I can't balance on a board where my feet are underwater. But I want to surf like that. I can surf like that on a surfboard. I wanted to do it on a sub. So this was all a quest on how to do that. It led me to something really interesting. This deep single that goes through the whole bottom of the board would create too much lift when you're riding a wave at any kind of speed to be able to turn the board. It, it hold a spoon under a tap convex and, and you'll see what I mean. So with this, I break up that single concave with this big spine and this double gutter here. And what that does is it allows the, it breaks up the, the suction that the water has on the hull. It gets some air under there. And it also allows the board to rock back and forth on this spine. It creates some turbulence as you're going rail to rail. And it takes all that turbulence and passes it back through these channels. So you're, you're having a board that feels more like a surfboard. You can pump it and accelerate like a surfboard. You can bank it into a hard turn like a surfboard. It's still triple or quadruple the volume of your everyday shortboard, but it allows you, when you're leveraging your paddle, to do things that you can't do on a normal sub. And the first one is get up and plane sooner and get some air under the board and get it skimming.